Pop music often aims to entertain and uplift, but some songs delve into the darker aspects of life, exploring themes of obsession, despair, and pain. In this video, we look at 10 of the darkest songs ever written. Kim by Eminem Kim is arguably one of the most intense and disturbing tracks in Eminem's discography. Released in 2000 as part of his album The Marshall Mathers LP, this song is a narrative that depicts a fictional confrontation between Eminem and his then-wife Kim. Unlike typical diss tracks or breakup songs, it goes deep into the darkest corners of human emotion, expressing rage, betrayal, and vengeance. Eminem plays both characters, making us feel we're right there, watching a private moment. It starts off with him talking to his baby girl, but suddenly turns into a yelling match with his wife as we learn that he just killed the guy she was with and drives her to the desert where he strangles her. It is a prequel to his song 97 Bonnie and Clyde, which tells the story of Eminem disposing of his wife's body while talking to his infant daughter. The song's graphic and violent lyrics sparked controversy, but if you look at it as art, it's amazing. The darkness lies not just in its content, but in its execution, where Eminem blurs the line between fiction and reality, giving us an unsettling experience. EXO slash The Host by The Weeknd the Weeknd is known for his moody, atmospheric music that often explores themes of excess, addiction, and self-destruction. His music was very dark early in his career. EXO slash The Host from his 2011 mixtape Echoes of Silence is a perfect example of this. The song is a two-part epic that delves into the hedonistic and ultimately hollow lifestyle of someone who is trapped in a cycle of partying drugs and superficial relationships. The first part, EXO, seduces the listeners with his slow, haunting beats and the weekend smooth, almost hypnotic vocals. However, the song transitions into the host. The song becomes darker, revealing the emptiness behind the facade. The lyrics suggest a deep sense of despair and numbness of the party lifestyle. The weekend's ability to turn a story of excess into a cautionary tale of emotional void is what makes EXO slash the host one of his darkest tracks. I could have gone with Kissland, but this is darker. Bury a Friend by Billie Eilish Billie Eilish burst onto the music scene with her unique blend of whispery vocals and dark and introspective lyrics. Bury a Friend, from her debut album When We All Fall Asleep Where Do We Go, is a haunting track that explores themes of fear and death. It was written as a tribute after the death of her friend Extentacion. The song is from the perspective of the monster under the bed, a metaphor for the darker parts of the human psyche, the eerie minimalist production combined with her unsettling discovery in that creepy music video creates a sense of uneasiness. The lyrics with a touch of self-doubt, the fear of the unknown, and the inevitability of death make Bury Your Friend one of the most haunting songs in recent pop history. Billy's ability to channel these dark themes through the pop lens has made her a unique voice in the music industry. Every Breath You Take by The Police on the surface, every breath you take might seem like a straightforward love song, but it's far from it. Released in 1983 as part of the police's album Synchronicity, the song is often misunderstood for a romantic ballad. However, a closer look into the lyrics reveals a darker narrative of obsession and control. Sting, who wrote the song during the breakup of his marriage, has described it as a song about the feeling of being constantly watched. The lyrics Every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. Take a sinister tone when viewed from this perspective. It's the stalker anthem. The haunting melody and Sting's somber delivery add to the feeling of unease, making it one of the most iconic, dark, but popular songs in pop music history. Breathe Me by Sia Breathe Me is a deeply emotional track that touches on themes of vulnerability loneliness and the need for human connection. Released in 2004 as part of Sia's album Color The Small One, the song became widely known after being featured in the series finale of the TV show Six Feet Under. The track's minimalist piano-driven arrangement allows Sia's raw, powerful vocals to shine, conveying a deep sense of pain. The lyrics, which describe the feeling of being broken and in need of help, resonate with anyone who has ever felt lost and alone. The chorus, Breathe Me, 
Help me, I'm small, captures the essence of the song's emotional weight. It stands as one of the darkest, yet most beautiful songs in Sia's catalog. It also touches on difficult subjects like self-harm and depression. Hurts by Johnny Cash Johnny Cash's rendition of Hurt, originally written and recorded by Nine Inch Nails, is one of the most powerful covers in music history. Released in 2002, as part of his album American 4, The Man Comes Around, his version strips the song down to its bare essence, turning it into a haunting reflection on pain, regret, and mortality. His weathered voice, filled with years of life experience, adds a profound sense of vulnerability to the song. The sparse arrangement, with a simple acoustic guitar and piano, allows the lyrics to take center stage as the country legend sings about the scars left by a lifetime of mistakes and the inescapable approach of death. The accompanying music video, which features images from his life and career, adds to the song's emotional impact, making Hurt a fitting farewell for one of music's most legendary artists. The Beautiful People by Marilyn Manson Marilyn Manson has long been associated with shock rock, and The Beautiful People is one of his most iconic tracks. Released in 1996, as part of the album Antichrist Superstar. The song is a critique of the superficiality of society. With its aggressive industrial sound and Marilyn's vocals, it challenges the listener to question the values that are often glorified in modern culture, such as physical beauty and social status. The lyrics paint a dystopian picture of the world, where power and appearance are everything, and those who don't fit the mold are cast aside. The repetitive chant of the beautiful people portrays the emptiness of the society, obsessed with image. It is one of the darkest songs of the 90s. Strange Fruit by Nina Simone Strange Fruit is one of the most haunting and powerful protest songs ever recorded. While Billie Holiday's 1939 rendition is the most famous, Nina Simone's 1965 version adds an additional layer of raw emotion and urgency. The song, originally written as a poem by Abel Mirapol, depicts the horrors of lynching in the American South, with the Strange Fruit in the title, referring to the bodies of black men and women hanging from trees. The slow, somber piano accompaniment adds to the song's weight, making it impossible to ignore the stark realities it shows. Nina's delivery gives you goosebumps, her voice filled with sorrow and anger as she brings the brutal imagery to life. The song came back to prominence after being sampled on Kanye West's Blood on the Leaves. Strange Fruit is not just a song, it's a stark reminder of racism and the violence and injustice that have plagued society. Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People At first listen, Pumped Up Kicks might seem like a catchy indie pop track, but beneath its upbeat melody lies a dark and disturbing narrative. Released in 2010, the song tells the story of a troubled youth who fantasizes about a school shooting. The contrast between the cheerful music and the dark subject matter makes the song even more unsettling. The lyrics, sung in a laid-back, almost detached manner, describe the character's thoughts as he contemplates revenge against those who have wronged him. The chorus, with its repeated warning, all the other kids with their pumped-up kicks, you better run, better run. Outrun My Gun is chilling in its simplicity. Pumped Up Kicks became a surprise hit, peaking at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100, but its success was met with controversy, as many felt uncomfortable with the song's content. Creep by Radiohead Released in 1992, as Radiohead's debut single, Creep is a haunting anthem of self-hate and alienation. The song's raw, grungy guitar riffs and Tom York's vocals capture the feeling of being an outsider, someone who doesn't belong and never will. The lyrics express intense self-doubt and a sense of worthlessness, culminating in the chorus, I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. Creep resonated with anyone who has ever felt like they don't fit in or have struggled with feelings of inadequacy. The song's success was unexpected. While it became a defining track for Radiohead, the band later distanced themselves from it. It is their most successful song, accumulating more than 1.7 billion streams on Spotify. The darkness and Creep lies in its brutal honesty as it lays bare the pain of feeling like an outcast. What incredibly dark songs did I miss? Tell me in the comments below.